Welcome to this episode of Liberty Creek. <laughs> we have Jen and Vinny are up here for the long weekend. It is October 5th and there's some stuff I want to get done. And starting with, we are not peak. Most of the drive up here was, we were not in peak season, but when we got up, up the mountain, up here, I would say we're just about in peak. Let me see if you can see some of these beautiful colors. I'm sure within a week or two, a lot of them are gonna be falling off and nothing will be left. So that being said, next week I won't be up here. It is October 5th and we are taking off. Let's see, we're gonna be up here today. It's Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and we're heading back home Tuesday. So we're gonna to try to get some stuff done. Now, next weekend is the long weekend and Jenna and I cannot come up. We have other things that we gotta do, other commitments. Well, last weekend, I had to work. So we wanna get a couple things done. I took two days off to get them done. And here we are, we're up here now. I had to work a little this morning, but I'm done with work. And we're here up at Liberty Creek. Um, yeah, everything looks good. Look at this, oh, beautiful. Do you see Do you see these trees? It's quite something when we're going past a couple of the big farms and you look over their fields and you see the tree line and the colors are just fantastic. They are popping, folks. I'll try to get some more uh, footage. We're gonna go into town. I'm trying to find a local place that rents like a stump grinder because I have all these stumps behind me I wanna get rid of. And I have over here where I want to put the uh, shed. Folks, I'm starting to get really crunch time. I'm not sure if the, the uh, shed's going to happen this year. Like I said, I can't come up next. Who knows when it's going to snow up here. So right now, fighting against time. And because of uh, our break from Liberty Creek this year, we took a couple months off due to uh, Jennifer's surgery, we are behind. But that's okay. I'll get it done. I'll get it done. Um, and I'll still try to keep you all entertained. Um, yeah. So we're getting to the point that we can almost go hiking. All the, all the, um, let's see. Eh, still got some heavy growth down there. So we've got to cut the grass as our first thing. I'm just walking around looking at the property. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Everything looks good. Everything looks good. Over here looks good. Yeah, starting, you can see a lot of the uh, ferns and stuff is starting to die down. But as you can see, I still got to get rid of these stumps. So what we're, what we're up here definitely going to do, if I can't find a stump grinder, I'm going to probably bang out the grass right now. We're going to cut, cut the grass so we can have some, uh, probably a campfire tonight, smoke a cigar, sit back, relax a little bit. Um, a goal is to stock the good fireplace shed with, uh, or wood shed with good firewood. I'm going to move all this over there. The tree I cut up last time down on Justice's path, we're going to cut that up. And when Vinny and I were up here last time, we ran out of here and we left the batteries very low. I was thinking it was going to catch some sun rays and charge them right up. That did not happen. It's had shitty weather ever since I was up here two weeks ago. And yesterday they brought them up to about 47%. I think the batteries were like 32% now. I'm gonna run generator, get them up to 100, and then we should be good for the week. Um, and and uh, let me stop yapping, let, let, me, let me do it. for uh, Jen just stuck the camera out the window and we're taking a little cruise into town and as you can see it's so beautiful up here these little houses these little farms these little capes um, just gorgeous 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 <laughs>
a few hours later. Watching the Yankee game out at the campfire, smoking a cigar, having a drink, kicking back, relaxing. Good times at Liberty Creek. Folks, this morning we woke up. It is Saturday. The rental place isn't going to be open till tomorrow to see if they have a stump grinder. But this morning, Jen and Jen and Vin was like, let's find a place. So I just drove an hour to the Home Depot in New Hampshire and I got this bad boy. So we're going to see if we can remove these stumps. You know, I have quite a few stumps. You guys know about it, especially my subscribers. I told you about it a thousand times. Me and Vinny dug out a stump over here, two stumps over here, one stump over there, kind of cut them. But these are impossible to dig out. I cut it short. That's the shortest I could cut it. He's going to come and try to clean that out. Once we get that out, I'll probably um, cut that stump low, have him do that one. He has to do that one. He has to do that one. I think that's it over here. Once once those are gone, yeah, I don't know how long this process takes. I got it for 24 hours unless I want to spend another 300 something dollars. I think it's like three something for 24 hours. And then we have over here a lot of stumps and we love to get rid of those as well. But don't know how long this takes. Basically, you roll up to it. This is a... Uh, motorized one that's uh you know it's like a lawnmower a uh, what would it be called a self-propelled and you stump grinder you bring it right up to the stump and this these are the teeth it will spin up and you walk up and you have like a joystick and you have it go back and forth on the uh stump walk it up it'll take off about maybe an inch at a time you back it up you do it again until you have it right into the ground so we'll see what happens we're going to set up Vinny we're going to try to get Vinny set up working on that working on the stumps and I'm going to try to uh, get all my wood here in the woodshed go down the trail pick up the other uh, wood that I cut and left down in the trail bring it over split it stack it we're going to try to get a lot of stuff going and moving in today while today is supposed to be a nice day you know tomorrow I think it's supposed to have showers so we have one day to get a lot done <laughs> Vin get a big giant rock stuck in the uh, stump grinder. Folks, try to get the stump down, but not too far down into the ground because if you do break the machine, at least you want your project to be done, all right? Um, so we fixed that, we got them back going. It's a long process because it only takes a little at a time. Jen put on her work gloves and she's helping me move that stack of firewood.
right, so stump grinding is a slow process. Um, as you can see, the footprint there, it's a pretty good footprint for the shed. I would like to put the shed and it wouldn't eat up any of my, my uh, space for the range as I have right now. This was all trees and just brush and firewood, crap firewood. And we started to clean up maybe about two months ago. It's been a long process. Um, I saw the machine, it's a slow process, especially stumps that big. He's still working on the second stump. It's been probably two hours. Now, this is the stump that I would like to get removed. I don't know if you can see it. Um, there's a couple of small stumps over there. I just got done cutting off the top of that stump. I left, uh, as you can see here, that was on top of the stump. I just cut it free. I left a little spot just in case if I was going to get like a backhoe, try to dig it out, I would have something to grab hold and leverage to pull it out if I didn't get a stump grinder. So this thing cost about me about 300 something a day. So we're going to run it till we can't run it no more. Pack it up tomorrow, I'll have it back by I think noon, noon time today I rented it. And um, whatever I get done, I get done. And I would like to get some stumps on this side. Don't know if that's gonna happen. I might have to find another way, but this is green. So the stuff he's cutting out is green. And that might be another reason why it's taking so long. But uh, Jen and I did move all the wood. The wood that was stacked here, the, the one in the trail. Moved it all, we stacked in the good, the wood, uh, wood pile over there. Um, I still have to split the stuff I took from the trail. It's been non-stop since we came home at noon. I don't know what time it is now. It's probably like three, two, three. Um, yeah. yeah, I don't know if you can see the, the firewood shed from here, but it's stacked. Still got room in it. I got to split the stuff in front. I'll probably be getting around to that soon or tomorrow. Because this is a one-man show. One man pretty much operates the uh, stump grinder. The other one's just watching. I, I'm done cutting the rest of the stumps over there. I might go over there, like that stump over there. I don't know if you can see it, the big one. Cut that down. There's one underneath the pine tree I'd like to get rid of. Because next year, I like to start working on the property once the shed's up. And um, that's the first spot I'm gonna tackle. So stay tuned. Hopefully, we'll start working on this property, making it look really nice. A few hours later. All right, it's clean up. I don't know what time it is. It gets dark early. We're cleaning up, not because we want to. It's because we ran out of gas. Oh, I didn't get a couple stumps done. I wanted the one this one, one that one. But I got the big ones done. That massive one here. I just took that down, and the big one right there. Got that one down. So we did that. Looks good. Everything looks good. Um, we got everything that we wanted over there done. I'll grab my chainsaw, put it on the porch. We packed, we put everything away. What I mean is, um, I had probably about four gallons, I believe, maybe five, in my uh, gas can. And, and we went through on this side of the property. We used the whole tank of gas that came with it and then we used uh we used the, all the gas i had 
And so before we ran out of gas to put it back on the trailer, we uh, packed it in. So I have no more gas and I feel like running the town. Now we're struggling here to put the linkage back together and tighten it back on. These damn things never work. Pain in the ass. All right, so we're gonna secure it, pack it up, and tomorrow we'll return it. All right, we're done working. Jen just made us drinks. I just started a fire. Look at that. And she just yelled, supper's done. So, time to go inside, eat some of Vinny's famous firehouse chili. I don't know if that's what he calls it, but that's what uh, Vincent in there made his uh special ingredients he doesn't like beans in his chili i find that strange but leave a comment beans or no beans i say no beans if it's on uh chili for hot dogs even though i'll eat a chili dog with beans or i don't know that's just me but uh yeah leave a comment below mr vincent's firehouse chili all right, so we're in the house. The Mets are winning. Let's go Yankees. Yankees won last night. We were watching the game around the fire. I showed you that already. But here is the famous chili. Where is it? There it goes. Vin, do you have a, uh, a name for your chili, a secret ingredients? The guys at the firehouse showed you how to make this? No? All right. So, uh... Let's eat our chili. All right, all right, all right. We just had a little snack at Jennifer Snack Shack, some crackers and cheese. We've been out and about. Now we are coming back to do a little pew pewing. So I am working with my Glock 45 MOS. This shoots a nine millimeter. Vinny's setting up some steel. He's gonna shoot some steel. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to rest my hands on the bench over there, send three, three down range, hit the target and see how big my group is and hopefully resting my hands will take away any type of error from my part and see what the group looks like and then adjust it. My biggest problem is, is um, I guess you should have the red dot sitting right on top of your front sight post like a lollipop. That's how I do it and that's how I'm gonna make sure it is and We'll see if I could tighten it up, get a little bit more practice, and I'll get a little bit more, more well, better with the Glock 45. My Glock 19, I don't have a dot on it, and I think I'm better with that. But uh, let me see what happens when I zero this in. All right, enough yapping, let's do it. All right, got my eyes and ears on. Gonna go ahead, range is hot. Gonna send three down, and uh, we'll see what we're working with. three let me go take a look so I would say I would hit any target within a, a six inch target I would definitely still hit I'm gonna go back and try it one more time because that group kind of sucks to be honest with you um, it's got to be me let me try to get a steadier uh, grip That one felt better, let's see. Holy shit. One, two, three. This is almost a good group. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. I might have to start over. <laughs> Holy shit. All right. I'm definitely down. I'm gonna bring the front sight tip up a little bit and just see where I'm at. A few moments later. 
All right, folks, it took us many, many times, but we have our, well, I have my sights zeroed in with the red dot. It's a, it's a big difference in where it was. So good to go. Now we're shooting at the uh, 10 and 15 yards. Um, Vinny's got just fixed sights. I have my red dot and there we go. Shoots the upper, now I want to shoot the middle target. Three shots. There we go. At the 10 yard line. Fire. Three shots. Took me a second to get going there. Just with the wind. <laughs> it's like a hurricane coming or something. All right, let's go take a peek at how we did before we got to shoot a little bit more paper, then we'll move to steel. And then hopefully it doesn't rain or surf hurricane on us. All right, so we there's my group, folks, at the 10. Looks good, looks good. Finney's group right there, through one. Got two right there, nice tight group right there. So at this point, we are where we want to be. We'll move back to 15 shoot three more rounds try to get that tight group and then maybe we'll play with some steel but good time at the range love having my own range i was able to really take my time and get my weapon where i need it to be and it's free this would probably I, i've been at it for like an hour i probably would have cost me 45 to 85 dollars out of local range to sit there and tinker and this way it's much more uh, better for me financially and just I'm not rushed or anything. I just take my own the only thing is the weather Constantly this wind comes out of nowhere in the Sun the sunlight I got to clean you have to actually clean your red dot because it gets a film on it or something The sunlight hits it. You can't see shit. All you see is your dot. You can't see what you're shooting at So that was just a lesson I learned right now So let me get back to shooting Yards three. I'm shooting top target Punch it out there Go ahead and get my sights on target and squeeze that trigger nice and slow, you see? Through the hurricane winds. I shot three successful times. I don't know what I hit. Not the red dot. <clears throat> Whew. Yeah, the sun is kicking over here. But we'll take a look at my uh, shooting the bill days. Right in direct fire of Vinny's brass, as you just saw. All right, let's go see how we shot. Okay, okay, okay. Vinny's high, high. He's got a group, but uh, he's shooting for the head. He got Vinny's basic grouping it always looks like this folks it's a little high to the left but you still got a group it's about a uh, four i would say four inch group he'll hit a four inch target but he's just got to bring it down there's my group top target boom boom i missed him one he's a little fucker but gotta tighten it up a little bit more drop him down a little like i said it's uh brutal out here with the wind and sun <laughs> excuses are always hey, ladies good and gentlemen Vinny and I, uh, hopefully you can see it, I think you can, are going to duel. We both have 10 rounds of ammunition in our weapons. At the sound of draw, we will draw our weapons and shoot our 10 rounds at the dueling target. I am on the right, Vinny's on the left. Whoever has more targets on their side will lose. So, here we go. Down, down, down. 
Anyway, I want to thank everyone that supported me during this competition. <laughs> yeah, it's all fun, folks. Um, I do have the dot zeroed in perfectly. And not perfectly. Like, when I was shooting there, the sun hit it, whatever. You saw a couple times they didn't want to go. I should have brought some WD to clean it up. But we'll go again. I'll let you watch. I'm going to come in and draw. Draw your weapon and fire. Draw. You missed a couple, sir. take a look I think he might have beat me just on a uh, just on the fact that he actually shot shot correctly he got some extra points at the end so he he definitely boogered here oh he missed okay okay this is good so he got one silhouette he missed the second silhouette and missed the third so he's got one point because my first shot went into two of them. I see that <laughs> he's he got a miss that's not a head shot but it, it's a little closer than my head shot he's going to pick up another point in the center He's going to pick up, what the fuck, how do you get, okay, the, because one, all right, one, one was supposed to be a chest, one, two, three, four, five, he's got five, what did I have, one, two, three, four, I have four, you beat me by one, congratulations, let's do it again, reset. All right, all right. We're all done shooting. We shot a shitload of ammo today. A lot of fun up at the range at Liberty Creek. Oh, what are you doing, bartender? Bartender? Huh. All right. Let's have a drink. And what is Jen doing in the snack shack? What are you doing over here, girl? Making pizza. Pizza? Doesn't get better than that, folks. Let's take a look at this pizza. Careful. Wow! All right, we're having some pizza. I gotta take off these boots. My feet are freaking killing me. We did a lot. And our this will be our third day up at the cabin. Well, we got up here Saturday, Sunday, today's Monday. Tomorrow we're gonna head home. Had a good time. Did a lot of work. Um, it's coming together, but I don't think we have enough time in the day, in the year, to do what I want to do. 
basically I, got, I think I'm gonna definitely have to bring in some dirt and uh, put some dirt down. I probably don't need to. I could bring in uh, some stones because I'm gonna have this place just like the snack shack, a floating foundation. But it's definitely uneven over here. But we got rid of all the stumps, everything's out of the way. The footprint is here to start the build. Gotta cut that branch back right there. Um, but everything's looking good. Looking good, looking good. So that being said, even over here, got the big stumps. I don't know if I showed you guys that because we were really trying to do some crunch time last night and then I ran out of gasoline. And uh, so kind of pissed me off. I could have probably done about another hour of work. But as you can see, there was a massive stump right here. Massive. And remember, eventually, I want to put my stone wall right here to, and have a break in it. And over here, I'm going to have some, uh, uh, have like a flower garden. Probably a raised bed, have some raised beds, have some benching. Eventually. It'll still be sloped down like this. I don't mind that. It doesn't have to be flat. Just, just um, going to have some flowers and have like a little garden over here. So, that being said, as you can see right here, we had a monster stump. That was the stump that was like this high. I cut it flush. I came in here, and um, the one thing I learned, you got to have patience. A lot of um, time to get these big, giant stumps down to nothing. So, we upped the heat on the hot water heater a little bit because it's getting cold at night. And uh, I guess the temperature out here is affecting the temperature of the instant hot water heater. I guess the pipes are exposed, so the pipes are cold. And um, that's why soon we will be disconnecting once again our uh, L10 Eco Temp eco temp um hot water heater instant hot water heater works great our uh our water tanks are filled to about this high right now three quarters of the way we're going to be draining them soon soon as it looks like this this place starts uh frosting and freezing because i don't want it to crack all my stuff and my pipes and i have to blow i think i'm gonna blow the pipes out i done that last year and put some pink uh no i don't even think i'll put the rv antifreeze in because i open up the uh elbows and let it drain underneath the cabin Ooh, looks good jen mm -hmm. all right folks well the yankee game should be coming on soon we're going to sit down have some pizza put up our feet and relax i'm not sure if we're coming out around the campfire tonight it's already the chill is in the air but uh we had a nice fire going last night a lot of fun a lot of time being outdoors just relaxing and and doing a lot of hard work as well at the uh off-grid cabin all right see you tomorrow all right folks so we started i think on the porch we're ending on the porch as most of my videos do these days. Oh, it's bright. It's beautiful. It is a nice day once again up at the cabin. Uh, the generator is running. I'm trying to top off my batteries because um, I probably will not be up to the cabin for another two weeks or so. And the solar has been awesome. Even last time, we should have topped off the batteries before we left because we weren't up here for several weeks and they did dip down pretty low because there was a like a whole week of bad weather but then they charged back up to about 40 something percent when we got up here on saturday and it's fine nothing ever went down thank god knock on wood um you know the camera system's always running the uh so we have the security at the cabin always up and running we're able to monitor everything I have another camera coming just for so I could uh, see this side of the property as well. It actually arrived Saturday. <laughs> Always a day too late. Today they have uh, today is Prime Day on Amazon. I looked 
all the stuff that I was interested in is none of it's on sale you know like the camera this is how they run things the camera that I always buy this camera here that I like I have three of them up at the cabin and I could move it from my house in Connecticut I could see all over the property I have one up in the tree I have one over by the garden I'm gonna put one over here I have one over there so I got pretty much good coverage around the entire cabin and plus I have a couple of my my Z motos up here always running off of solar those are independent solar they have their own solar panel and let me show you So they have their own solar and they have their own battery and again i had i probably had them for at least i want to say maybe about closing in on a year and never had trouble with them never battery wise they are always charged so their solar little setup works fine for what they do 24 hour coverage this up here is hooked up to my uh my my harbor freight i got my 100 watt panel there i have two batteries and it works fine never run out of juice the other day i had um the television set hooked into that and we watched the entire yankee game from the bench and had no issues um it worked great but that being said so what i was saying about the prime you know they it's th those cameras cost me forty dollars can't go wrong you don't have to buy a subscription subscriptions always better they save your information longer stuff like that but uh it cost me forty dollars you should wait for it they have their ten percent sale it costs you forty dollars if not they say that they're usually eighty dollars i've never bought one of those cameras at eighty dollars they're always on sale you either get ten dollars off and it's fifty dollars or 10% off and it's like $40 so usually every single time I have bought it is $40 so just wait for the sale 40 bucks save yourself some money um, now Prime Day you go there and it says Prime Day sale it's the same damn sale that I get them all the time 40 bucks so a lot of that shit goes on when they have these Prime Days a lot of these companies you're really now if it was like $30 that would be a Prime Day sale you're actually saving on top of your normal savings um, but I also see a lot of they would call it probably price gouging because I monitor all prices and I look at things and when they go on sale I'll buy them and you'll see an item for the same price they're always on sale for but they'll mark it up instead of it saying like oh sixty dollars and you're you could get it for fifty dollars today they'll say normal retail value is eighty dollars and wow you're getting it for fifty dollars today no um equal flow does have a sale it's a decent sale if you have that system already i would not recommend investing in the system i have go with their new system their new system seems better um just because it has the heaters I would just buy them just because it's better. It might cost a little bit more, but you'll, like I, I've had bad luck with this system twice. When it works, it works said, great. This is the end of this video. So folks, you know what to do. Do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. You know, that's the thumbs up on the bottom of the YouTube page. There's a little things like, go ahead, hit that like. I would greatly appreciate it. Make sure you're still a subscriber. Hit the subscribe button somewhere down here or wherever it is in the notification bell up top to be notified when I have new content. So that being said, that's all I got for you on this episode. Thanks for coming along and enjoying the uh, adventure of Jen and I building our cabin in the woods in Vermont. And it is so nice, crisp, clean air up here this weekend. And we definitely seen the peak. If you did not get up here, to see peak season of the leaves you're asked out because I guarantee you this weekend it's not going to be peak you just missed peak it was this last weekend here all right folks i'll see you on the next one thanks for hanging out peace